In today's lecture, let us talk about the generalized angular momentum. It includes both the orbital as well as the spin angular momentum. Orbital angular momentum we will be denoting by L and spin angular momentum that will be denoted by S. The general uh, angular momentum that will be denoted by J. So this J should satisfy this generalized angular momentum. It should satisfy the commutation rules. This commutation rules I have written directly that is Jx, Jy that will be I, H cut, Jz and the, when it is Yz here it will be Jx, when it is Zx here it will be Y and J into J that will be I, H cut, J vector. So if we are taking a unit vector so H cut will be 1 so J into J will be nothing but Ij. Now here we will be applying the commutation relation. So this will be the total angular momentum in terms of uh, i, j, k. Uh, that is uh, j vector that will be i, j, x plus y, uh, j, j, y and k, j, z. And we know that j square it is given by j, x square, j, y square and j, z square. So we are going to commutate j square with j, x, j, y and j, z. Let us see what we are getting. So this relation we are taking that is j square jx that will be uh, now in, we will be solving this now this j square will be putting the value of j that is jx square jy square jz square jx. So this we can rearrange also that is jx square jx jy square jx and jz square jx or you can write uh, this jx 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 together so this is uh, uh, just like uh, abc if you are taking together so it will be a b c and or you can write plus a c b similarly we are taking this also like that only since it is jx uh, we will get same thing inside and outside the bracket that is jx b is jx 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 and jx so that should be equal to zero so j square jx that will be equal to now uh, what is left let us this solve this further now j square jx it will be now this portion we have already solved so this can be deleted now what is left is jy square jx and jz square jx so this i am writing here jy jx and j z square j x so again this i am solving so j y square i have written twice j x z square i have written twice j x so this i can write like this also similarly z i can ar ar arrange in this form also so this is nothing but this only now j y j x uh, we are having the value minus i h cut jz jy uh, jy jx minus i h cut jz similarly here jz jx i am writing i h cut jy and again the value after solving it uh, you will see the maximum portion it is getting cancelled so you can see here minus i h cut j y j z plus i h cut j z j y uh, plus i h cut j y j z minus i h cut j z j y plus so all of them they will get cancelled you will be left with zero so uh, so you can say j square j y is also zero and j square j z is also zero so this is how you will be applying the commutation rules for the generalized triangular momentum so you can apply the uh, ladder operations also which we will be doing in next session.